We're back. It's passed out. <laughs> Hopefully for a while. Probably not for long though. And uh yeah. It's a wonderful day. Um I'm gonna have to say right off the bat, I gotta talk quiet. Recording through my Astro A fifty mic right now. Um also more than likely no audio for this i'm sorry like no music audio um i uh the way i record the way my stereo set up where so uh the audio gets put through it doesn't it doesn't record i'm uh i bought some little adapters and things to to be able to um you know take care of that for you guys soon but you know I haven't recorded a video in a while and I was like hey I need to so it's already gonna go to uh, night so I'm just gonna go up here right off the bat and go to sleep I keep watching the video to make sure that she's not moving around uh, 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 uh. yeah I downloaded a, a shaders pack if you if you guys haven't already been able to tell by a little bit of a new look so um i realized with my world like it's all over the place right now like my little my little house this uh this is all broken up i need to put like maybe individual rooms or something um i want to make like an automated farm automated i guess an automatic farm basically dispensers that it dispenses into a little crease I'm not gonna do it on an episode I might do a tutorial but there's so many out there that I really don't even need to do one. no one needs to do one anymore but I mean you guys get the gist I just I need to go collect more materials for it and oh, man it's been a bust honestly and yeah if you're curious about this shader pack uh, just look up Rudu plays shader just look up shader pack and you'll find it uh, and as you notice there is a glitch with the water but still it looks I mean let's just hop on down here and like you know, when you just give like a quick little glance to it, like it looks sick. All the shades, the trees are perfect. Oh man. But yeah, what do we want to do? First off, I need to get some equipment. You guys got to give me a little bit of a break too. I've been playing um, a lot of Skyrim. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. And uh, well, when I play a lot of Skyrim, I usually <laughs> I get used to the controls. And uh, with one game or another, you know, and so coming back and playing this, it's a little different. But let's see. What I want to do. Let's go gain some levels with the mob spawner. I'll show you my mob spawner. I'm sure I've showed you guys it already. So uh, let's take this. Efficiency, efficiency. Let's get rid of this one first. What is this? Breaking two and efficiency two. Well, this one by far is the best pickaxe I have. I need another. Uh, well, I need to find more diamonds too. These are all I got right here. Oh, turn it down. Um, I need to find more diamonds, and I need to uh get another sword. Diamond sword. I only have one diamond sword and like four diamond pickaxes. Don't need that much. Um. All right. What? Oh yeah, the sensitivity that I play on Skyrim too. I never, I never change the sensitivity on it, and um, it is by far a lot more like a lot slower. Sorry, a lot slower like I am right now. Um. Sorry, I like my thing being all neat. I really don't even have that many potions, unfortunately. That's empty. It's only got that. I want to make some more potions. I have brewing stands for it. And honestly, potions are like my favorite. See, like right here. That water's clean when it's small like that. And in between, you know, the uh, sugar cane, it looks, it looks nice. But let's go gain some levels. Oh, yeah, I want to. I don't want to fall down there. Aw, oh, damn it. 
Oh, it looks like I've had this problem before. <laughs> my little, uh, I'm sure I've showed this before, but this is my um, obsidian generator. Really simple. Um, all you need is lava, and you could have a lava source, I think. Can you have a lava source? No, you can't. I don't, dude, I don't know, man. It's <laughs> It's been a while since I played. Let's play. Nooblet Minecraft. Hey, shouldn't this make me move faster? I don't really feel like I'm moving faster. I don't know. Let's keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, don't worry, the, the uh, Pixelmon series will continue. I just really haven't played it much at all lately. And a uh, very good reason for that being is I just really haven't felt the uh, urge to play it. There we go, now I feel like I'm moving. I guess I wasn't sprinting before. I swear I was... Oh yeah, I ha <laughs> I forget about the E button. I have my uh, sprint automatic button or whatever set for E. That's That way it's like right by W and I can you know, do the two fingers. And I believe I'm going the wrong way for my... Dude, I think I gotta go this way. Is she moving around? No, she just passed out. Started sucking her thumb now. <laughs> Mom's not happy about that. Look at that water from far away. I think it looks sick. Whoa. It's from where a creeper blew up. I don't know if I was recording, but I had like a crazy battle out here with, you know, skeleton. Like everything. Everything was out here. It was nuts. But yeah, you still go through with the same. You know, every time I jump into it, I like feel like I'm going to like stand on top of it almost. <laughs> Still get the water splash noise. Um, but yeah, I told you that I was uh, playing some Skyrim, and I have been. And honestly, I want to do some videos on it because I love that game. I uh, bought the huge ass walkthrough for it, and shouldn't have said ass right there, but you know, I'm sorry. But anyway, I hope I'm going the right way. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Um, yeah, there we go. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I bought... Let me, let me show it to you guys. This encyclopedia textbook. This thing is huge. Like, it's crazy. Um, but, you know, I have all the, uh... Ingredients for potions and such. Hold on a second, I got a... A little bit of an itch. You know, usually... Usually, usually, I bring a uh, block with me to to put right here to make sure that no creepers. But I do have it lit pretty much all the way, so I don't think anyone's are gonna spawn and come down here. Um, the only thing that you I have to say that you kind of have to whoa that you kind of have to worry about uh, with this is. Um, I don't know if they made an update, but if there's any, uh, like, mini zombies. You know what I'm saying? Some mini ritual zombies. I forgot. I forgot how to throw this. I'm pretty sure some of them die some, from time to time. I'm not sure exactly. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. This will give me a good chance to talk to you guys. Though. I'm just going to kind of watch. Have this ready and equipped. There we go. Whoa. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Frostbite. Okay, so I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do for like a parody video. And it's just, um, it's all about all the commentators that I used to watch. Well, I still do. I still watch them all the time. But, um, like, how do I explain it? If you guys have watched videos, which I'm sure you have, as much as I have, on YouTube, the same person over and over again, and the number one person who I would say is notorious for having the same intro every single time is X Jaws, which he doesn't even do anything anymore at all. I don't know what he's doing. I, I, stopped, I never really watched him that much anyway, but he had some really good gameplays. Of course he did. He was, he was pretty damn good. 100 plus gameplays all the time. Of course, it was his kill streaks and getting those kill streaks. But I mean, <laughs> if you're doing it every time, you're doing it every time. But um, you know, 
and then Syndicate. He would have his intro that he says all the time. Ali A has his that he says most of the time. White Boy 7th Street has his that he says all the time. So I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do to incorporate every single YouTube commentator that I've watched that has like the same intro. Like, uh, I mean, it's I don't know. It's going to be funny in my opinion. I, I'm stoked to do it. But all right, so I feel like we've let quite a few of these drop some of them died that one just died right there now do I right click yeah I right click and then let's just oh what I didn't even let that many are you kidding me all right well hold on first off I want to turn that audio down because it is getting annoying to me I'm pretty sure you guys can't hear it but I freaking can and dear lord I'll keep that music up because that music was sick. There we go. All right. Oh, and also I'm playing on a. I have the uh, faithful texture pack running on this, and that's why everything looks shiny. Um, and then the shaders just gives it that extra kick. And when there's like sunsets and stuff like that, like it's nice. I'm gonna try and stand over here and see if it makes them like spawn a little more. I don't know how it works necessarily, like you know, spawn rates and stuff. But uh, I don't know. Let's see. I have all of this. Let's see the uh, blast protection, aqua affinity. I what the hell does that even stand for? I'm gonna have to look that up. On breaking three, always always nice to have when breaking on any of your stuff. Protection three, that's nice. On breaking three, thorns two, I don't know what that is. Uh, blast protection too, but no unbreaking or anything. But I mean, diamond lasts long. But those are definitely, yeah, these are gonna go the quickest, which kind of sucks, cause it's quite a bit to make them. But uh, it's not that bad, not as bad as a chest plate. And then uh, projectile protection. What does that mean? I don't know. And this I just have sharpness one. I think it was like a really low enchantment level. I don't even know. I don't even know what it was. But, uh. Oh, shit. See, that's what I was talking about. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I turned and looked. I, I didn't even see it. Oh, there's a fool in there with the sword. I want to kill you, sir. Alright, well. I guess I'll save this glass bottle. I really don't even need it. Oh, is that another one? Oh, this one's just glitching right here. Kill that one. Kind of get up. Hey, there's another one. I think, see, the majority of them, I think, die. You know, but there's always, like, from time to time, I don't know, like, lands on one of their heads or something. But I can't believe I only got, like, one level with that. I, literally, I've been, I don't know how long I let it sit. I let it sit for quite a while. And, I went, like, 10, 15 levels for sure. But all right, let me try to explain a little bit. I'm sure you guys have seen tutorials on this. This is how I got all the way up there to mine down. I'm sure that there's more efficient ways or somewhat easier ways, but people play it on on creative a lot of the time. And I, I think that's kind of a kind of an issue because you know, playing it on creative and playing it on survival is completely different. You can't float in the air. You don't have every block that you need. And, uh, but anyway. And I had to find my mob spawner. You know, on creative, you can just mob one in. I, I want to find a, a skeleton one. I think it would be tight. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to do it with creepers, but that's like, that's intense. Um, cause you know, <laughs> you don't want a freaking nuke of creepers just going off I don't know how it'd be as long as, as well as as far as like if there's more creepers is the explosive uh, radius bigger or no I don't know I've never experienced it but you uh, oh look at this guy he's a trooper you're a trooper bro I give you props man I do I've never I've never seen one get up here before what's up dude oh there you go all right, well, uh, so you find the mob spawner, and the mob spawner, say, was on this level. I think you go down one, two, three, four. I think I did quite a bit on the top and bottom because when you spawn in, you don't want them to get stuck on the top of it 
of the mob spawner and not fall in and like have their head get stuck or something and then also you don't want their head to get blocked as if like they were to go under it like so you want it deep enough i'm pretty sure and i'm i'm sure whatever you know you do works anyway they land in water you put water all the way up against the wall going that way so one there one there one there one there all the way i think it's like nine spaces or so floats all the way down so this is where it matters though is because you need to have the water ending perfectly on the last block and i'm not sure the exact measurements for that uh, but i mean test with water and you'll be able to count it easily just dump a bucket of water on a path that would go in a straight line and uh, wherever the, the longest one ends that's how everyone's gonna be and then you uh, mine like a straight tube as you can see where this glass is basically this path goes all the way back and it goes forward just a little more and then over one or two so yeah it's you miss mix this miss this one and then water ladder water ladder water ladder water ladder water ladder all the way up and you build it so there's only one space to go over in the top and then it goes straight down bada bing bada boom you have your mob spawner it's very simple very simple it uh if you know how to do it exactly if you watch a tutorial a couple of times honestly if you have all the materials the longest thing that's going to take you is mining everything out other than that you're going to do it in like 15 10 minutes it really it it really is not that hard of a thing to make and it's awesome because you know <laughs> it's free XP I'm gonna mob up here real quick I hope that none of them you know honestly I don't want to until all these go away because I don't want them to like die or something <sighs> now if I'm not mistaken rotten flesh is really only good for uh, you know, give them to the dogs or something is that, is, that, is that the case I don't know what the puff Wait, why did it? I don't know. There we go. I was letting it sit for a little bit longer. There you guys have it though. The mob spawner. <laughs> From level 17 to uh, 22. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm an idiot. Like I said, I'm used to Skyrim. Alright guys, well I'm going to head out of here. Let's go back to my house. Let's find out what we need to do. What do we need to do? I don't know, I'm gonna have to fight some some I hope I don't run into many creepers though. That's honestly there was one point where I was really good at fighting them. And then now they kinda just kick my ass every time and it sucks. We'll see though. This is kinda being a long video, but whatever, it's been a while since I played some Minecraft. I'm showing off this new texture well not new texture pack, I'm, it's kinda it's kinda old, but showing off how I like to play this game and I gotta apologize again for like the no audio if there isn't any the fuck is that why does that spider look so crazy but yeah I just wanna apologize for that you know that's my bad what the hell is up with this spider Let's see if I can get this guy fuck where'd he go Whoop. Dude, Skyrim is screwing me over, I'm telling you. Come on, bro. There we go. Alright. Some more. Take care of those skeletons first. Why are they fighting each other? What the puff? I have never seen that. I don't know if that happens often or what, but I've, I've never seen that. Maybe I don't play Skyrim enough. I am <laughs> told you I've been playing too much. Maybe I don't play Minecraft enough. Clearly I get enough Skyrim. Thanks, bro. Alright. I always like to look at... um how much health everything or like lifespan my uh, items have left because <sighs> I hate losing diamond I uh, items honestly it bugs me so much dude I don't need to fight you man I got a mob spawner if you get out of here I can't believe I even let that fool hit me 
Alright, well we're gonna mob bag. I have some diamond horse armor that I keep forgetting about. I wanna get a horse and I haven't gotten a horse yet in this game. How how did that fool even shoot me? He wasn't even looking at me. You know, I'd really like to know. Man. I just I love how everything looks in this game. Even at night, like the moon. It almost makes it brighter, honestly. I mean, look at when I jump in my shadow. Like, that's that's sick. You don't get that in regular Minecraft, you know? And I give amazing props to the people who made this game. I When I was seeing everything about Minecraft, I had no idea what it was even, like, what it was about. No idea. And I was like, dude, I'm never going to play that game. I played it once, and I fell in love right away. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like I don't care. I'll... I'll Say it like a man to anyone who asks. You, Hell yeah, I play Minecraft. This game, the creators of this game, <laughs> barely did anything. Like as far as like you know, they probably put their heart into the game for sure. But as far as like, you know, I'm gonna go down here because I don't remember what's down here. Um, making it like super nothing. Oh, <laughs> making it like. I don't know, pixel. It's like, it's every game, everything in this game is like a pixel, you know, but, but like still, it is so sick. They, they did a really good, like, job. Now, of course, there's a few things that, like, you know, they could, like, make combat better, but, oh shit, bro. There we go. Whew. That creeper scared the poop out of me, honestly. All right. I heard, I heard, I heard something, bro. Holy sh! <sighs> <laughs> That's why they call them creepers, man. <laughs> oh my god, that asshole! Damn. I don't have torches with me, bro. Why did I come down here? I remember getting lost in here. I I found some diamonds down here, though, for sure. Like all of this, like where it's like. <laughs> Items, of course. Dude, that creeper got me, man. That how's my armor? Oh, it's, diamond lasts a while. I got hit quite a bit, guys. It's been a while since I played this game, and it's for sure different than playing Skyrim. I've said that so much in this video. I'm sorry, but it truly is. But you know, I wanna, I wanna like make a point here. RuneScape is one of the first like MMOs I ever played, and I'm not the biggest fan of MMOs, but that style of game with that you know melee archery mage like whatever like super sick you know going out like mining in Rune, runescape you can build your house in runescape you, i mean obviously there's things about that game that are nowhere near as good as other games i got just i gotta take a moment look at how beautiful this looks i love it i love it it's awesome but um yeah, so if you look at Minecraft, it has different things in RuneScape, but almost like the same style, the same like feel and aspect of, you know, you're doing this. Obviously, you don't have summons like you're not you're not really doing magic. You have potions, you know, you have herb lore in RuneScape, you have alchemy in Skyrim, pretty much. All I ever said about RuneScape is that that would be the hands down greatest game for sure if the graphics were like you know 3D uncharted the last of us style or even even Skyrim Skyrim's graphics are pretty good you know they're nowhere near as in my opinion now in last of us I don't know I'm just running around cuz I'm about to end this video um last of us what the I can't even get in my door nice it worked a little so the last of us right that game when it came to characters and players the graphics and the details that they put into the hair the facial um, all that they put a lot into it um, cars they didn't put any detail into cars I don't know if anyone's played the game but if you do you'll see as soon as like any, I'm sure that if there I there are any scenes yeah there are a few scenes with them driving cars those were good but anything else 
they didn't they didn't put anything into it um they just I don't even know how to explain it. You'd have to see it. Um, but I feel like to really master a game, and obviously, you know, we're going to see that more with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, even though graphics on Xbox One are still better than the Xbox 360, as far as Ghost goes, because that's all I've really compared it to. Um, and uh, on, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, Need for Speed Rivals. Is it Rivals? Yeah, that, that game's pretty good, too, on Xbox One. I played it. I played it on both PS4, Xbox One, and I have not played it on PC. I don't even know why I have this on. But um, they're not spawning. I don't understand why they don't fall through. What did I do wrong? Um, but yeah, I mean, to make an amazing game for people who like games like RuneScape or games like Skyrim and Minecraft, you know, where you're off to do your own thing, build your own house, build your own world. I'm gonna take this down. Um, it's, it's sick, you know, it's a good game, like, you just need to make something like, um, amazing graphics, because think about this game, really, realistically, think about this game, if the, uh, graphics were hardcore amazing, now, of course, it wouldn't be like Minecraft, and that would be sad, you know, you wouldn't have blocks, you wouldn't be able to just, like, toss a million blocks up into the sky maybe you would even like you know maybe there are would be certain items that you know they could do it but what I'm trying to say is think about this game if the graphics were real and it looked like you were an actual person or what the fuck or um you know like you would get so much more intact with your character itself with your home like you know that's like your legit house like a game like minecraft if you think about it really what is it it's a game where there's a little bit of fantasy but <laughs> you build a farm you build a house you like basically do chorely day like daily things like collecting crops and you know there's cooler ways to do it or like you know you have to go into the nether to to fight some crazy things i don't like it's like almost like regular day life but with a fantasy added to it imagine this but with amazing graphics <laughs> i'm sure anyone who played it couldn't say that they didn't like it they might not play it all the time but anyone who to say they didn't like it is just wanting to be that one person that's in that crowd that's like oh yeah you know yeah you you know what i'm talking about there's always that one fool but, uh, yeah, you know, I want to stop this video here. It's a 30-minute video. It's going to be a bitch to upload. I shouldn't be swearing in front of my daughter. She's passed out. But she can hear it. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I got to think of what I want to do for another video. Um, I'm going to have to look up some ingredients because I forgot how to make, like, potions and stuff. But I, I kind of want to fight some more things. I want to get a bow. I want to build a brand new bow and I want to enchant it. It'd be sick. I've never enchanted a bow. So yeah. Peace out guys.